Hello everyone, I'm Jim Sinley for SpeedEndurance.com and today I'm here with Lance Brahman. So coach, thanks for having me here today. I got a few questions to ask about coaching. My first question is, what's the major difference you have in coaching uh, college level and at the elite level? Uh, I, you know, the biggest difference for me would be the time in the day that they actually spend training. Um, in college, obviously, they have classes in the morning. You have uh, afternoons where you try to fit some track training in and then try to get into the weight room after that dependent upon the day and how you you know how you work with your weight room staff um, at the elite level where you know we get here at 9 30 in the morning we'll stay on the track train until 12 31 o'clock uh, go straight to the weight room get the weight room finished up by three o'clock so it's more of a, a full-time job and it's it's a full day of actually training where you can you know, and that's not constant training, but you have some downtimes here and there, but, you know, a, a full day's work. How about some of the challenges when you have a sprinter with a 9.9 .9 personal best and he shows up in September? What differences do you have in mind to bring him down to the 9.7 level? Uh, it, it would be individualized based on the athlete that you have. Um, you know, what what they might be lacking, in your opinion, as far as maybe strength levels or or uh, technical technical skills, uh, whether they might need more explosive strength or whether you know their their application of force is in the right direction. I mean, it just varies between athletes, and um, you know, and that's the that's the art of coaching, finding those differences that each person has, and trying to work with each one of them on them. Speaking of technical differences, uh, people are talking about the Asafa Powell Usain Bolt, the second step toe drag. What's your opinion on that? Well, I, I don't know if it's much of a drag as is it's, um, and, and we try to do something similar, but you're trying to keep a, a closer reference to the ground so you're not, um, your attack point through the ground on your drive phase is, is not over the track and waiting on the track to, to come to you, but you're actually closer and able to apply force uh, sooner. Um, you're not able to, to create speed without foot strike, and if you're waiting over the top of the track for the track to come, then it's just taking extra time. Okay, one last question is about stride length, stride frequency, and ground contact. And this question came from Latif Thomas. He wants to know about your famous wicket drills. Now, I know you haven't done it for a few years, but can you sort of describe how wicket drills would help with your improving stride length? Yeah, well, it's, uh, you know, we, with the group I have now, we've, we've done those in the past, and that's more of a, something for a beginner or some, for guys that are learning how to set up a, set up a stride pattern. But uh, the idea behind it is to uh, make sure that they're recovering over the top and, um, and applying force back into the ground instead of reaching for it. Um, the idea of the wicket is if they're reaching for the ground, their toe's going to hit the wicket on the way through instead of actually coming up and clawing the track underneath the body. Um, you separate them as you go down the track so that they're able to increase speed with it and you know that was the purpose of the drill at the time. Was that drill inspired by Vince Anderson? I, no, I wouldn't say no. I, I, you, know, I, you know I think a lot of different people have used it, used the drill. Um, you know I don't know if if Vince was the originator of it or not. I, I well, couldn't tell you that. So. Well, okay yeah okay. Um, I think a lot of different people use the drill but um, it's, uh, it's just something that if it works into your program, you use, and if it helps your people, then, you know, you're always finding different ways to, to make your group better. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and good luck this season. Thank you. Okay.